హలో గాయస్ వెల్కమ్ టు ఇండియన్ అకాడమీ ఫర్ ఆల్ ప్లీజ్ సబ్స్క్రైబ్ టు మై ఛానల్ ఫర్ లేటెస్ట్ అప్డేట్స్ టుడే అవర్ టాపిక్ ఈజ్ ప్లెయిన్ టేబుల్ సర్వైన్ ఇన్ ద ప్లెయిన్ టేబుల్ సర్వైన్ వీ ఆర్ నోయింగ్ అబౌట్ ఇంట్రడక్షన్ ఇంట్రడక్షన్ టు ప్లెయిన్ సర్వైన్ సారీ ప్లెయిన్ టేబుల్ సర్వైన్ నెక్స్ట్ ప్రిన్సిపల్ ఆఫ్ ప్లెయిన్ టేబుల్ సర్వైన్ నెక్స్ట్ ఇన్స్ట్రుమెంట్స్ వాట్ ఆర్ ద ఇన్స్ట్రుమెంట్స్ రిక్వైర్డ్ టు డూ ప్లెయిన్ టేబుల్ సర్వైన్ వీఆర్ లెర్నింగ్ నెక్స్ట్ సెట్టింగ్ అప్ ఆఫ్ ద ప్లెయిన్ టేబుల్ వీఆర్ లెర్నింగ్ హౌ టు సెట్ ద ప్లెయిన్ టేబుల్ అండ్ హౌ టు డూ ద ఎక్స్పెరిమెంట్ ఆల్సో వీఆర్ లెర్నింగ్ నెక్స్ట్ వాట్ ఆర్ ద మెథడ్స్ రిక్వైర్డ్ టు డూ ప్లెయిన్ టేబులింగ్ ఆర్ ప్లెయిన్ టేబుల్ సర్వైంగ్ వీఆర్ స్టడీయింగ్ నెక్స్ట్ అడ్వాంటేజెస్ వాట్ ఆర్ ద అడ్వాంటేజెస్ వెన్ వీ కంపేర్ ఇట్ టు ద అదర్ సర్వైంగ్ methods that may be chain surveying that may be uh, any type of surveying right next so what are the sources of errors we are learning one by one thank you next first plain table surveying right so ప్లెయిన్ టేబుల్ సర్వైంగ్ ఈజ్ ఏ గ్రాఫికల్ మెథడ్ ఆఫ్ సర్వే ప్లెయిన్ టేబుల్ సర్వైంగ్ ఈజ్ ఏ గ్రాఫికల్ మెథడ్ ఆఫ్ సర్వే ఇన్ విచ్ ద ఫీల్డ్ అబ్జర్వేషన్స్ అండ్ ప్లాటింగ్ ఆర్ డన్ సైమల్టేనియస్లీ రైట్ సో హియర్ దిస్ ఈజ్ ద మెయిన్ అడ్వాంటేజ్ ఆఫ్ ప్లెయిన్ టేబుల్ సర్వేయింగ్ ఇఫ్ వి విల్ యూజ్ చేన్ టు డూ సర్వేయింగ్ first we have to do calculations in the field then we have to come to the lab then we want to do calculations but if we will use plain table if we will use plain table so here we can take observations in the field and plotting also we we are done simultaneously in the field itself that is the main advantage of plain table surveying next it is simple and cheaper than theodolite survey right when we are comparing to the theodolite survey the plain table surveying is simple and cheaper right next it is most suitable for small scale maps it is most suitable for small scale maps right next the plan is drawn by the surveyor in the field while the area to be surveyed is before his eyes right so here the plan is drawn by the surveyor in the field itself right so while the area to be surveyed is before his eyes means so in the field itself we are calculating the area if we want right therefore there is no possibility of omitting necessary measurements right so here there is no possibility to avoid any necessary uh, necessary measurements right so this is this is the main uh, advantage of plain tabling or plain table surveying next then what are the equipments required what are the accessories required for plain tabling or to do plain table surveying so here we require plain table tripod led right we can observe here see this is the plain table this is the plain table right this is the tripod right we can observe in the field right in the figure also we can observe next led what is the next one led see look here this is the led right next what are the accessories another accessories required for plain table uh, sawing right so we require tough compass we require spirit lever 
we required u fork with plumb up we required waterproof cover we required drawing paper we required pins we required drying accessories right see these all are the accessories we can observe in the figure right so here we are using trough compass next we are using spirit level u fork with plumb up waterproof cover drying paper pins drying accessories right next equipment so here what are the equipments we are using what are the equipments we are using so we want to study right right so here we require plane table right necessary must and should we require plane table so here why we require plane table so here to put the drying paper on the board we, we are using plane table look here see here the drawing board for plane tabling is made from well seasoned wood with its upper surface exactly plane we can observe in the figure see here this is the plane table right so here the surface of plane table is plane right next normally it is in rectangular in shape right normally it is in rectangular in shape right so normally the plane table is in rectangular shape with size 75 cm by 67 or uh, 60 cm so available normally we are having uh, 675 60 like this right clear right next it is mounted on tripod and clamps and clamps so here it is mounted on tripod and clamps are provided to fix it in any direction right so here how we are using this uh, plane table so we are we are having tripod so above the tripod we are fixing our plane table right so here the clamps were fixed the clamps were provided to fix in any direction so here we have a clamps right in the field we can observe this right next the table can revolved about its vertical axis and can be clamped in any position when necessary see for example if you want to set if you want to fix in this direction also we can set if you want to see fix in this direction also we can set so here we have uh clamps so with the help of clamps we can fix in any direction right next right look here see this is the plane table right clear see here we have a uh, clamps like clamps right clear so here this is the rectangular in shape right so this is 75 this is 60 right clear right so here look here so this is the tripod stand right so here this is the plane table right clear right next tripod so here the plane table is mounted on tripod right yes or no look here this is the tripod this is the tripod this is the tripod right next the tripod is generally of open frame combined rigidity with lightness the tripod may be made to fold for convenience of transportation right so maybe any any tripod light in weight and uh, they are convenient for transportation also from one place to another place next tripod is provided with three foot screws right it is for leveling the plane table right so here tripod having three foot screws right so with the help of three foot screws with the help of three foot screws right with the help of three foot screws right uh, we are uh, leveling up the plane table right next look here this is the tripod right this is the plane table 
this is the plane table right clear right next ali did so next another instrument we are using accessories right accessory required to do plane table surveying that is ali date right this is the ali date this is the ali date right see here this is the scale right this is the fiducial edge we can call it here this is the fiducial edge or working edge working edge of ali date right clear right so here the ali date is useful for establishing line of sight so why we are using ali date so here normally we are using ali date for line of sight see for example here we have a object right so here we want to sight this object so how we are sighting that object with the help of ali date only right next here we have a two types of ali dates are used normally we have a two types of ali dates one is simple ali date another one is telescopic ali date so here look here simple ali date so here it is used for ordinary work it is generally consist of a gun metal or wooden rule with two vertical vents at ends look here see here we have a two vertical vents right here we have a wooden uh, what we can wooden uh, rule we have a right clear normally we have a metal one also otherwise we have a wooden rule also right next the i vein is provided with narrow slit while the abject vein is open and carries a cross hairs right we can observe here we can observe in the figure right so here the abject vein is open and carries cross hairs right so look here see i vein is with narrow slit look here see here this is the i vein so the here this is the narrow slit right but this is the object vein see object vein having cross hair right cross hair also we have right next both the slits does provide a definite definite a line of sight which can be made to pass through the object to be sighted right so here see for example this is the alidate in this side we for example this is the i vein so here i vein is provided with the narrow slit right so here uh, this is the object vein see this is the i vein this is the object vein so object vein having cross hairs right so here with the help of uh, this both slits we can sight the object we can sight the object right with the help of these two we can sight the object right next yeah look here this is the simple ali date right see here may be made with a metal or made with the wooden right here we have a scale right so this is the fiducial edge we can we call it this as a fiducial or fiducial edge fiducial edge so otherwise working edge working edge of a theodolite look here see this is the i vein this is the object vein so here i vein also having a slit here same way object vein having a cross hair so here with the help of these two we can sight the object we can sight the object right next simple ali date so here what is the use of a simple ali date so why we are using to draw the rays one of the edge of ali date is beveled and is perfectly smooth working edge is known as fiducially edge fiducially edge or fiducial edge right look here this is the fiducial edge this is the fiducial edge right clear right so here the fiducially edge is graduated to uh, facilitate the plotting of distances to scale right so here we have a object right for example here have a, i am measuring this distance so here with the help of uh, ali date with the help of uh, what we call it fiducial edge having a scale so with the help of scale 
we directly we can plot the value on the paper right next telescopic alidate what is the next one see already we discussed alidate alidates are two types right alidates are alidate or two types one is simple alidate another one is telescopic alidate right so here telescopic alidate so here the telescopic alidate is used when it is required to take inclined sites right so if for example here if i want to take an uh, inclined site right inclined site then we are using telescopic alidate right it is essentially consists of a small telescope with a level tube and graduated arc mounted on horizontal axis so here the telescopic alidate it is essentially consists of consists of a small telescope with a level tube and graduated arc mounted on horizontal axis right it gives higher accuracy and more range of sights right when we are comparing with the simple alidate and telescopic alidate so here the telescopic alidate gives high accuracy right and more range of sight right clear right this is the telescopic alidate right this is the telescopic alidate so here we have a circular plate like circular we have right so if we want to take an angles then we are using telescopic alidate right clear right look here graduated arc mounted on horizontal axis right look here this is the graduated arc right clear right next yeah look here this is also telescopic alidate figure right clear right here we have a graduated circle right clear next accessories what are the other accessories we are using to do plane table surveying look here trough compass what is that trough compass so here what is the trough compass look here trough compass is required for drawing the line showing magnetic meridian on the paper magnetic meridian on the paper right see for example uh we have a paper right with on the paper we want to show the meridian right clear right so to orient or to take the meridian on the paper we are using trough compass look here see here it is used to orient the table to the magnetic meridian to the magnetic meridian right simple direction right when the freely suspended needle shows 0 degrees at each end so here how the trough compass is made so the trough compass having a freely suspended needle right so here the needle shows a 0 degrees at each end right a line is drawn on the drawing paper which represents magnetic north simple so here trough compass why why we are using trough compass right for denoting the magnetic north for denoting the magnetic north we are using trough compass look here this is the trough compass this is the trough compass this is also trough compass right clear so here we have a freely suspended needle right so here we have a graduation here and here so simple so to take the magnetic north to take the magnetic north on the paper we are using we are using trough compass right next spirit level what is that next accessories is accessory is a spirit level what is the use of spirit level we know very well i think spirit level is used for determining sorry 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 used for ascertaining ascertaining if the table is properly level right simple why we are using spirit level for leveling simple for leveling leveling the plane table we are using a spirit level right so here the table is leveled by placing the level or spirit level on the board in two position 
at right angles at right angles and getting the bubble central in the both position right what is the meaning of that for example this is my plane table right so first we will put the spirit level here then we are uh, the bubble maybe we have to see uh, we have to set the bubble maybe at the center right then only the plane table may be level so first we have to keep here then we have to keep the spirit level again here right then we have to set the plane table in this method or in this way right next yeah look here this is the spirit level right right clear here we have a bubble right so here we have to set the bubble always at center then the plane table may be level right next u fork with plumber what is the next accessory that is u fork with plumber so here u fork with plumber is used for centering symbol why we are using u fork with plumber for centering for centering the table over the point or station occupied by the plane table when the plotted position of that point is already on the sheet right so here what is the meaning of that so first we are using the u fork with plumbab for centering the table over the point the table over the point or station occupied by the plane table when the plotted position of the point is already on the sheet for example here we have a plane table a paper right drawing sheet we have see here we have one point or one station so here i want to uh, transfer this point to the ground we are using u fork with plumbab otherwise for centering also for centering also we can use u fork with plumbab right next also in the beginning of the work it is used for transferring the ground point on the sheet right so at the beginning of the work we are using for transferring the ground point ground point on the sheet right so here we have a center right so we we if we want to uh, transfer this point to the paper we are using u fork with plumbab u fork with plumbab look here this is the u fork with plumbab right this is the plumbab right so here this is the u fork the shape maybe in the u shape right look here right so here we have a point for example so here the point is transferred to this to the ground right clear right we have a pots upper arm lower arm next plumbing fork next this is the plumbab we can observe the figure here this is the plumb up right clear next right waterproof cover right so symbol an umbrella is good to protect the drying paper from the rain for example while we are doing a, a plain table solving rain is came so how we are protecting the drying sheet from the rain symbol so here we are using umbrella with the help of umbrella we we protect the drying paper from the rain right next drying paper so here we are using drying paper always we are using uh drying paper to prepare a map right clear so plotting uh use for plotting the ground details right simple so why we are using drying paper so to prepare a map only right next advantages and disadvantages of a plain table surveying so simple so what is the advantage what are the different types of advantages first we are looking into the advantages right so here the plan is drawn by the surveyor himself while the area to be surveyed is before his eyes that is the major major advantage right in the field itself the surveyor can draw the figure right clear before his eyes we uh, can calculate the area or uh, while the area to be surveyed before eyes right therefore there is no possibility of omitting the necessary measurements right for example here i am uh, preparing a map 
so here this point we are knowing 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 in the field a. so before my no, sorry before uh, before himself by surveyor uh, the person who is doing surveying can observe right so there is no possibility for omitting the necessary measurements right so here omitting what is the meaning of omitting so omitting means uh, we are not leaving any point we are not omit we are not leaving any point so all points are directly with we can transfer to the map right so here the surveyor can compare the plotting work with the actual features of the area right clear right next all right look here look here so here two three persons are there right so here the surveyor is doing plane table surveying right next right so it is simple and cheaper than the theodolite survey it is most suitable for small scale maps no great skill is required right there is no great great skill is required to produce a satisfactory satisfactory map and the work may be interested to the subordinate right clear right it is useful in magnetic areas where compass may not be used right see for example if we have a uh, magnetic areas so if we will use compass then what will happen so here uh, because of the magnetic areas right because of the magnet uh, magnetic capacity of that earth or the area that we are getting wrong values right so here if we will use a plane table surveying then directly we get the good results right next mistakes in writing field books are eliminated right because in the field itself we are preparing the map so here while we are entering into the field book or while we are preparing the map so we are uh, eliminated the mistakes right next disadvantages or limitations i can say limitations also right so here it is not intended for every accurate work right we are not intended right we are not using actually for a all accurate very accurate works why because the plane table surveying results may not get exact value why because we are using nowadays we are using nowadays uh, total station like that advanced instruments we are using right next it is not suitable in monsoon why because in the rainy seasons if we use so we want to bring the umbrella to protect the drying shed like that right so in the monsoon season uh, it is not suitable right it is essentially tropical instrument right tropical instrument yes or no right we are we are want to bring a, a type of stand we want to bring a, a plane table like that so here it is essentially a tropical instrument right due to heaviness it is inconvenient to transport right so here because uh, the plane table having a very heavy why because we have a uh, mm, all other instruments accessories we require plane table and tripod stand we want to bring right so due to heaviness due to heaviness it is inconvenient to transport since there are so many accessories right already we discussed there is likely wood of them being lost right maybe maybe in some cases right so we may be lost right because uh, if we don't have a spirit level for example then we are not doing because if we lost that accessory we are not get the good results right right look here one person is there right one person or sorry surveyor surveyor is doing or using plane table surveying here right next principle what is the principle of plane table surveying right so here the principle of plane tabling is parallelism what is the principle major or main principle of a plane table surveying is parallelism right what is the meaning of that here we are uh, drawing the rays right we are drawing the rays right so here for example in the field we have a line ab right so here we have a 
plane table a drawing sheet so here we are getting the figure on the drawing sheet is like this same points but with different scale for example here we have one kilometer for example here we have a, we have one centimeter or hundred centimeter like the different scale uh, we are using right to prepare a map so here what is the meaning of that so here one one uh, reading is there or one length is there so here we are taking that reading as a same so here both are parallel to each other so here the main principle of a uh, plane tabling is parallelism the main principle of a plane table is parallelism right next all the rays drawn through various details should pass through the survey station right yes or no all the rays uh, how many rays were drawn through the various details should pass through the survey station only right all the details should pass through the survey station only right the position of plane table at each station must be identical right so what is the meaning of that is at each survey station the table must be oriented in the direction of magnetic north so here this is the major major important so this is called as actually orientation orientation of plane table what is the meaning of that so here the position of the plane table at each station must be identical means see here uh, this is the plane table here if we, we fix it that uh, with the help of a, what we can call it uh, sorry right so here for example here the position the position of the plane table at each station must be identical what is the meaning of that is at each survey station the table must be oriented in the direction of magnetic north for example if we fix uh, uh, the magnetic north in this direction so here so we have to maintain the direction always in the in that in that direction only right clear right next right look here so here uh, we can draw the rays like this right clear next method of setting of the plane table method of setting of the setting of the plane table so here how we are setting the plane table how we are setting the plane table right so here we have a uh, three processes involved in setting up the plane table over the station so simple they are leveling centering and orientation right so here leveling we want to do centering we want to do orientation we want to do right so here we are doing leveling with the help of spirit levels right clear next leveling and centering the table should be set up at convenient height for working uh, on the board so normally we are setting the plane table at convenient height why because here we want to prepare a map right so here the height must be convenient right say about that one meter fee right so if we have a height one meter so here easily we can prepare a map right next the legs of tripod should be spread well apart and firmly into the ground right clear so here the legs must be at a part right they are firmly into the ground right next leveling and centering so here the table should be so placed over the station on the ground that the point right the point plotted the point plotted on the sheet corresponding to the station occupied should be exactly over the station on the ground yes or no see for example if we have a point a here right so exact point we have to maintain uh, over the uh, ground right over the station on the ground right next the operation is known as centering of the plane table right this operation so here uh, 
for example this is the sheet we have a center point here for example this is the ground point uh, so here if we want to transfer from the place from the we can transfer the from point to the paper to the ground or ground to the paper also we can transfer with the help of you fork you fork with plumb up right already we saw about that you fork with plumb up right right for leveling the plane table ordinary spirit level may be used right so here to do a leveling we are using spirit level right the table is leveled by placing the level on the board into two position at right angles to the and getting the bubble center in both direction already we saw for example here this is the plane table if we look here the spirit bubble must be at center next you have to see here next the spirit uh, the bubble may be in the central 